be some source resistance. So whenever you see that capacitor afterwards this 10K, just move the 10K before the coupling capacitor. And assume that that is nothing but your source resistance, RS. Generally, source resistance practically is very, very small value. They will give 100 ohms like that. But in this question, they have taken very large value, 10K, such that when the signal or amplifier output will come, if you want to find out the gain, at that time, the gain if you find from the source, the attenuation will be more. Therefore, you will get gain very less for this question. Okay. Uh, this is the story of the circuit. <coughs> the voltage gain AV of the circuit is asking. First, a student should know whether this circuit is common emitter bypass or unbypass. First, you have to estimate. Seeing the circuit only, we will estimate some observations here. If there is no RE here at the emitter side, if RE is 0, anybody see like this? That means there is no feedback. If there is no feedback in a common emitter amplifier, we call this amplifier name is common emitter bypass we call. Such that you can avoid the modeling for these questions. Straight forward we can solve the problems. Okay, Model you can write and easily you can solve immediately. If it is a common emitter bypass question, the gain value how much first you have to estimate the formula. Then we can start doing the process. First of all, what is the gain for this problem? And this gain, how much uh, means? Here, if I take this as some Vx, so the gain, common emitter bypass gain is V0 divided by Vx. This is your AV. That means this gain is relevant to transistor gain I am finding. If you are finding from up to here, it is become circuit gain. So there is a 10k resistor in between Vx and Vi. That's why the gain of the circuit is different. The gain of the transistor is different. So the only confusion for the student is this. He will solve this AV and he will think that the problem is completed. The problem is not completed. We have to find up to Vi the problem. First we will find out the at least output V0 to Vx we will find out which is a transistor gain. Which we generally know the formula that is uh, minus Gm times of your load. The load here is RC. That is the general gain we have. Otherwise, in general, we can write in place of RC, we can write it as RL. This is the formula. Minus GM into RL will be the formula. But if I write this model, AC model, how it looks for you? This is a special model called a feedback resistance is there 100K. So we have to use the Miller's theorem effect. So Miller's theorem is 100k we have to resolve into two parts. Input side we have to take Z by 1 minus AV. Output side we have to write Z. So Miller's theorem we have to apply to write this AC model. Let's see one time the AC model how we can write for this uh, question. Okay. For this question how we can write the AC model we will try to observe it. If I start writing the AC model. AC model it looks like this. We have a signal Vi. Next, we have some 10k resistor. Next, capacitor should be short circuit for AC model. CC will be short. After that, uh, we have that uh, Z is a feedback which comes to the input side as that 100k in the middle value divided by 1 minus AV. This is due to Miller's effect. We are getting the impedance at the input side. Okay. 100K by 1 minus AV. And for a transistor, we have some impedance called as R pi. We have input impedance of a BJT is R pi in AC model. Next, we have is current source. That is GM times of V pi. Just I applied the R pi model. GM into V pi. Next, this uh, middle Z will come to this side also as a Z value that is only 100k. Actually it is not 100k, 100k by 1 by 1 minus AV actually. This answer is 1 minus 1 by AV. Open loop gains are very high that's why we neglect that answer so 100k will be the value you can write. Okay. After that we have RC resistor to ground. That RC has given in the problem as I think uh, 12k he has given in the problem. This is 12k, this is output. At least if the student knows applying this Miller's effect, here we applied the 
Miller's effect. Then you can write the model very nicely like this. Input side effect, output side effect. So Miller's theorem is uh, a best theorem for uh, shunt problems where you can resolve that middle Z which is 100K into two parts. 100K by 1 minus AV. Other side we can write as 100K. So first you write this model nicely in the subject. After writing this, what is AV formula? Here is AV formula is minus GM times of RL is the formula. This only up to Vx. This is a V0 divided by Vx we are finding the transistor gain. We are not finding the circuit gain, we are finding the transistor gain. So minus GM into RL. But here, because of 100K coming to the output side by Miller's effect, this became the load for you. Don't say 12K is the load, no. 100K parallel to 12K became the load. So the answer becomes here minus 100K divided by 12K divided by small re you can write. GM can be written as 1 by re we can write. Okay. But re who will give the answer means we have to find from biasing circuit means DC analysis we have to do background analysis. Let's do afterwards the DC analysis. 100K by 12K by RE. This is the answer. But what is RE here? Where RE is nothing but, where GM is nothing but 1 by RE. GM is nothing but 1 by small RE. Small RE is called as emitter dynamic resistance. Emitter dynamic, emitter dynamic resistance is small RE. Small R is called as emitter dynamic resistance. What is the formula of small R is? It is eta times of Vt divided by your IE current. So this is your small R e, where IE is nothing but here DC current. But generally DC currents will come from DC circuit analysis. So that means uh, before doing any amplifier question, my sincere advice, if you can start doing DC analysis first, then coming to the AC path is very interesting. First to doing AC analysis, again you have to go for DC analysis. So in every question we need small RE to solve the questions. That's why first to DC I'll suggest you, then going to AC analysis is better. Anyway, to understand that I have written this problem. We have struck here now. Small RE if you don't get, you cannot solve this answer now. That's why in the next step what I'm doing is, I'm going for DC analysis. We will find out the DC analysis. In DC analysis, you know that coupling capacitor should be open circuit and VI should be zero. These are the conditions we have to apply. So the circuit looks like this. Uh, 12K resistor here. This is 13.7 volts. We have a transistor. And we have a feedback here. This is a 100K. Maybe your DC circuit looks like this. Okay. 13.7 volts is that the VCC battery has given. 12K, 100K. Remove this coupling capacitor. Remove this coupling capacitor for DC analysis. With this, you have made on your diode 0.7. Okay. Now this current, we can take it as 1 plus beta times of IB, which is nothing but your IB plus IC current because this is dividing as IC this side this side it is going as IB current so there are two currents dividing from the supply IB plus IC IB plus IC you can write as 1 plus beta times of IB so you can find at an instant the base current like this you can find out the applying this loop you can find out the base current first so what is base current straight forward if you write base current 13.7 minus 0.7, 13.7 minus 0.7 divided by 100K is 100K only for base current. But for IB current to flow here, 12K has to multiply with 1 plus beta times. So the answer will be 13.7 minus 0.7 divided by, divided by 100K is 100K. But here, 1 plus beta times of 12K you have to take. Because here base current, if you want 1 plus beta, you have to multiply with that resistance. Then you will get the base current. So with this formula, easily we can solve the base current. Beta is given in the problem is 100. 
सो इट बिकम्स थर्टीन बाय हंड्रेड के प्लस वन प्लस हंड्रेड इंटू ट्वेल के सो विद दिस यू विल गेट द बेस करंट जनरली बेस करंट विल कम इन माइक्रो एम्पियस सो आई थिंक आई बी इज कमिंग अराउंड नाइन पॉइंट नाइन माइक्रो एम्पियस दिस इज बेस करंट वी आर गेटिंग आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन आफ्टर बेस करंट विल फाइंड आउट द आई सी करंट योर आई सी इज बीटा टाइम्स ऑफ आई बी बीटा टाइम्स ऑफ आई बी विच कैन बी ट्रीट एस आई इन दिस प्रॉब्लम आई सी आई ई बोथ आर सेम यू कैन टेक बिकॉज बीटा ही हेज गिवन हंड्रेड हंड्रेड आर एबो हंड्रेड एनी बीटा वैल्यूज वी कैन अप्रॉक्सीमेट आई सी इज इक्वल टू आई ई इन द प्रॉब्लम्स इ बीटा इज गिवन लेस देन हंड्रेड देन यू हैव टू टेक ऑल फाइ ई ओके बीटा इज हंड्रेड आर ग्रेटर देन हंड्रेड यू कैन टेक आई सी इज इक्वल टू आई ई सो द आंसर विल बी हंड्रेड टाइम्स इन टू नाइन पॉइंट नाइन माइक्रो एम्पियस सो यू विल गेट द आई सी करंट फ्रॉम दिस ओके द आई सी करंट इज कमिंग अराउंड पॉइंट नाइन नाइन मिली एम्पियस पॉइंट नाइन नाइन मिली एम्पियस सो आई सी करंट वी आर गेटिंग अराउंड पॉइंट नाइन नाइन मिली एम्पियस करंट आफ्टर गेटिंग आई सी दैट इज इक्वल टू आई ई वी कैन फाइंड आउट स्मॉल आर ई स्मॉल आर ई इज इक्वल टू इफ दे डोंट गिव ईटा टेक इट एज वन ओके इन द प्रॉब्लम दे आर नॉट गिविंग ईटा यू कैन टेक इट एज वन ओल्ड इक्वल इन टेम्परेचर सपोज दे आर नॉट गिवेन डिफॉल्ट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव मिली वोट्स बाय आई ई करंट इज पॉइंट नाइन नाइन मिली एम्पियस सो विद दिस यू कैन फाइंड आउट द स्मॉल आर ई वैल्यू स्मॉल आर ई इज कमिंग टू बी ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव ओम्स वीर गेटिंग अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव ओम्स वेन आर ई इज कंप्लीटेड देन यू कैन फाइंड आर पाई ऑल्सो हियर ओनली इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन फिनिश आर पाई ऑल्सो दैट इज बीटा टाइम स्मॉल आर ई आर पाई कैन ऑल्सो बी कॉल्ड बीटा आर ई इन योर आर ई थीरी वी कैन कॉल इट एज बीटा आर ई सो बीटा इज हंड्रेड इन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव ओम्स ओके इट इज कमिंग टू बी अराउंड टू पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव किलो ओम्स टू पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव किलो ओम्स ओके दिस इज कमिंग टू बी आर पाई वैल्यू ओके वन टाइम इफ यू नो आर पाई आर ई वी कैन गो फॉर द गेन प्रॉब्लम नो यू कैन गो बैक एंड सी द वैल्यू नो वेर यू स्टक हियर इज इन द प्रॉब्लम हियर यू स्टक सो आई केम बैक आर ई वी गॉट द इन्फॉर्मेशन ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव ओम्स इफ यू अप्लाई दट आंसर विल गेट दिस वैल्यू हंड्रेड के पैरल टू ट्वेल्व के बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव टू फाइव ओम्स so i came from dc analysis back to the uh, re to find out the value now i substituted you will get the gain answer it is coming to be minus of a very high value will come because small r is very less uh, i am expecting minus 424 24.15 we are getting after calculation so this is called open loop gain of the transistor But in this concept, is not asking v not to v x. Is asking v not to v i. Is not asking from here to here. Is asking from here to here. Is asking. Then how, what is the value to find according to the problem? Is we'll take this as uh, a v dash. Otherwise, okay. A v want the problem. What he has written a v. Okay. Now what is asking the problem? Let's see. He is asking A V. A V means V not to V I is asking, but we can write as V not to V X. One answer, V X to V I. You can write. You can divide these ratios into two parts, and this answer we calculated as A V dash, which we got transistor gain into V X by V I. Just this answer extra we want. V X by V I is how much we have to find out. For this, you can write the model again. V I. Next we have 10 K. Next we have some J I. We take this as J I. What is J I here is that is 100 K by 1 minus A V parallel to that R pi will become the overall J I of your transistor. Correct? Input impedance. So this answer A V already we got A V dash we can write this answer A V dash one minus A V dash A V dash is nothing but the transistor gain already we got minus four twenty four point one five something 
you substitute here 100k by 1 minus of minus plus 424.15 parallel to r pi you have to write r pi already we solved it in the previous problem it is 2.525 k so with this information we can find out the jedi value okay after solving jedi i am estimating the answer is 0.215 k we are getting this is jedi value if you get jedi answer then we have here vx so easily you can solve vx to vy is a voltage division rule attenuation problem we can solve it is uh, jedi by jedi plus rs you can take this answer is a source resistance so it is uh, 0.215k by 0.215k plus 10k so this is called extra fraction we have to solve to find out the gain so the fraction we are expecting here 0.021 the answer is coming to be 0.021 this is called vx by vi then the overall gain here is av dash into 0.021 av dash is nothing but your transistor gain which we solved it that is a 424.15 as you are solving the magnitude answer take the magnitude of your transistor gain 424.15 into 0.021 this is called attenuation factor extra because of that uh, series resistance r is e rs is equal to 10k so if you can find this answer you will get a small value which is coming for me the calculation value is 8.90 something is coming the answer is coming to be 8.90 but in the problem he is asking the closest answer is how much i think according to the options i have seen the closest answer is coming to be 10 okay this is the way how to solve this type of question most of the students when i am teaching in the class also some students are bringing this question as a doubt for me so where the problem you are getting to try to understand from this question simply miller's theorem we have found the transistor gain first that is v not to vx not v not to vi the only problem is up to here we know the formula minus gm into rl so because of this resistor you have to find out the attenuation factor that most of the students are not doing it that's why the answer is not matching with the problem so finally the answer is 10 we are getting for this problem let's go back and see the option for this question i think uh, we'll take this value as starting av dash okay av dash means v not to vx which is a transistor gain av means circuit gain overall gain he is asking so 200 is wrong answer 100 is wrong answer 20 is wrong close to 10 is the best answer for this question so this is one of the best question where the students who are preparing for uh, amplify topics this is the best question to understand it in all other in all other biasing circuits like fixed bias fixed bias with emitter feedback or voltage divided bias we don't have any miller's effect but only in one topic a student should use miller's effect in ac model analysis that is called collector to base biasing circuit collector to base biasing only in this type of problems he has to use that miller's concept then only these problems can be solved so miller's is one of the important theorem which can resolve that the middle feedback resistance into two parts input side and output side okay miller's theorem formula is sir input side it is z by 1 minus av output side is only z is enough to write the formulas anyway thank you very much mm -hmm.